Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Bean. Welcome back to another show, another video, and a brand new episode. And you know you're now rocking with the best word up. Yo, I had had not said that saying in so freaking long, yo. But yeah, you know, today I decided to make a video. Sorry it's not up to the old standard, but my Elgato doesn't work anymore. And, uh... Yeah, and then, honestly, I haven't been able, have not been wanting to make videos for a long time. I know I made a video about a couple of weeks ago and dropped it on here because I haven't made one in a while. But I just want to kind of explain some things I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? You know, just kind of reminisce over the past, you know, <laughs> the past few years. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to have this love for making videos, like being up mad late at night two or three o'clock in the morning editing videos and all that and knowing I had to be to work at like seven eight o'clock in the morning but it didn't matter because I was enjoying it you know and my channel was growing it was actually picking up some traction and you know it was doing a lot of great things but then I ended up you know I stopped because life got in the way you know what I'm saying and it's just that uh you know when I when, when back in uh, 2017 December 2017 the first week in December man yo I'll never forget it bro I woke I had a stroke man that that thing just blew my mind that I had a stroke and I, thank God I didn't die uh, cuz I actually sat in my house by myself for 2 days uh dealing with that stroke um it just got to the point where I actually couldn't walk I couldn't stand up. I couldn't hardly even drive. I had to get my aunts to help me out and went to the hospital and all that. And then even prior to that, even after that, after I got done having a stroke, man, my kidney started failing. That whole month of December was just nuts. And then the first week in January of 2018, I uh, I lost my cousin that I grew up with. He died suddenly, and that was a big blow. And, man, I tell you, and then I started – my kidneys totally fell and went out. I had just, I literally had just got back to work in uh, February, the second week of February in 18, the first day back to work, and my nephrologist, which a nephrologist is a kidney doctor, he called me that night at 6 o'clock, told me I had to start dialysis on that Thursday, and my whole world was just rocked. And it was just, man, it, it just sucked. And I remember sitting there just crying, boohoo crying and everything. And even after that, after I got back to work, I couldn't really work that much. I only could work three days, yeah, three days a week because I have to do treatment three days a week. And when I do treatment, I have to do three treatments a week, four-hour treatments, man. And, and yo, they not fun because you be on there, you be drained, man. You be drained. So I didn't have the energy nor the spark to do any kind of... Uh, do anything really because I, I mean my whole world had changed i ended up losing all my money because i had to you know what I'm saying when you're dealing with getting disability you you can't have no money my all my savings i went through everything i mean i worked for a whole for a whole damn whole damn month without a paycheck just to pay for my insurance that was crazy man i was like yo it was nuts and i didn't even get my disability check till later that year so I don't know, but thank God for my family. They helped me out, you know. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just a love to make videos, to get out there, put my thoughts out there, and, you know, to review games and do things like that was, it was gone. And even now, it really don't have it. Um, life is so crazy because all I do now, I mean, I go to my dialysis. I don't even work anymore, and that sucked. I worked at my job for 18 years, man. You know, I gave out loans and did all kinds of stuff. I took pride in my job. I love my job. You know what I'm saying? It was, of course, it was hard. It was hard at work. We're dealing with bullshit, especially from the upper management and things like that. But, you know, I didn't mind it because I was making decent money working and just doing everything I want to do. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm trying to sit home and I got my mom now living with me. And my mom, she ended up having a stroke too as well. And now she's going through the early stages of dementia. And it's just like, it's tough. And it's tough. And then like last year, whew, excuse me, especially like last year. Last year was just nuts. Because last year I ended up losing my leg. And that was no fun. You know, had to hop on the uh, 
a walker <laughs> for a whole summer before I got my prosthetic leg. So diabetes suck. Diabetes rob you of a lot of stuff. And like I said, life just been tough. And like I said, dealing with even with me dealing with that, it's pretty easy. It's not that I hate to say it's not that bad, but I can deal with it. But dealing with my mom stuff, man, because she's uh like I said, early stages of dementia. Her she forgets a lot of things, and sometimes she go through these massive mood swings, and she wake up in the middle of the night waking me up because she can't find something simple that she put up. She done lost it, or she goes into this uncontrollable crying because she's confused and some stuff like that. And she and certain things she just like to do every day, and I can't do it every day. I um, have to make sure all the bills are paid and all that other stuff, too. And sometimes you don't want to pay them either. <laughs> so it's uh, it's just nuts. You know, it's nuts. But seriously, uh, this year, you know, I actually kind of feel, I feel happy. I haven't felt happy in a long time, man. I mean, seriously, just starting dialysis. I mean, a lot of stuff with my family and my friends who I thought were going to be there for me, hadn't been there for me. It's been a lot of what I call, call strangers. It's people that I know that I went to school with or that I knew for the neighborhood, but never really done anything with. But these people, man, they've really been helping me out. And my social worker, uh, my my best friend and my baby mama, she's been, they, they've been a, a pillars for me, you know what I'm saying? And so they, they've been helping me out, but I still hadn't felt happy. But I felt I feel pretty happy this year. I don't understand why. Like, even my birthday just passed by. Shout out to all you detractors who wish me a happy birthday on Twitter. Yo, I swear to God, I didn't expect that many people on Twitter to send me happy birthdays. It just made my day. I couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. Because I expected on Facebook because my friends and my family's there. They ain't, ain't got a lot of people that I follow on Facebook, you know, just friends and family, you know what I'm saying? But these are people that I don't really know. But uh Twitter y'all y'all showed out, man. I really appreciate that. But yeah, this was like the first time I was happy on my birthday in four years, man. Four long years. And usually I always happy about my birthday. And just like DSP, I kinda celebrate my birthday for the week. But usually that is just a week for me to be selfish because a lot of times I, I give a lot of my time up to make other people happy and to enjoy themselves. But that week I kinda, I'm kind of just selfish. But most of the time what I used to do on my birthday, either go out of town or I know I'm going, I'm going to a club and party it up that whole weekend, get my little drink on. I can't drink no more. <laughs> I miss drinking. I miss drinking my Ciroc and my Cranberry. Yo, I love that drink. That was my drink. It was smooth. It was good. Man, I missed that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this year was this year was good, and this was the first time. Like I said, even playing video games was fun. Like playing playing Elden Ring, as y'all see in the background. This is early gameplay. Uh, some of my finally getting some of the victories on those tough bosses that was kicking my butt early on. And now I'm level 222. I done beat the game. Uh -huh. Yes, and I beat every boss in the game, every one except for the one with the bull go armor because I couldn't get to it. But I beat every boss in the game and all that good stuff. So, But the game was fun. The game was immaculate. And, uh, yeah, and I did record a lot of footage of my victories. And I did just post them on Twitter, but I had made a, you know, a full video on them or nothing like that. But I'll tell you, I just want to talk to you all again about, you know, like depression. That's why I thank my best friend and I thank my baby mama and I thank my social worker because it's been times where I honestly – just wanted to die man i just wanted to die i didn't want to be here and it wasn't because of like you know it wasn't it, it, i just wasn't i just wasn't happy and right now i'm happy um but i was just tired because this is a lot of stuff to manage from i have to manage my diabetes i have to manage my kidney stuff because there's certain foods i can't eat all the pills i gotta take and I got to manage this stuff here with my prosthetic and dealing with this stuff with my mom. Like I said, it's just a little stuff that that I'm telling you about. But it was a whole lot. lot of, it's a whole lot of stuff on a day-to-day -day basis to deal with my mom. It's like dealing with a petulant child. And um, and it's tough that you can't tell them, about, tell them what to do. It's like dealing with a petulant child that you can't tell what to do and trying to do the best for her and the best thing for me and her. So... It's tough. It's tough, especially with the income not like it was. Like, you know, had, I ain't had no fuck you money, but I had money like, yo, I don't have to really worry too much about stuff. Now I have to really budget my money, you know, 
sit there and wonder how we're going to eat almost every week, as crazy as that may sound, and cooking and cooking a lot more and all this other stuff, then gas prices go way up. Got to screw your budgets up, screw everything up. So it's not, it's not the most fun life, and it's not a life that I envisioned at the age of 46. I thought I'd be in a totally different place, doing totally different things and having a totally different lifestyle. But, you know, you just never know where your health's going to go, man. So make sure you prepare for the future. Make sure you get your insurance up. If you're a young man, young woman, get your insurance together. Make sure you get your, your money together. Because you never know. And take care of your health. Take care of your health. I, I was too neg negligent on my health, especially with having diabetes. Uh, just sit there. Y'all got to take care of your health, man. Go to the doctor. Spend a little bit of money. Go to the doctor. Spend the extra money for the health insurance. Because the health insurance in the U.S. is kind of crazy. And they can't bankrupt you. But we coming up on the end of the video. Like I said, I just wanted to drop a quick video to you guys. And just to say what's up. And I, I plan on trying to make more videos. Because I definitely got to get back into this arena. So again, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for rocking with your boy. It's your King B. It's your boy King B. I'll holler at you dudes later.